Alright, are we gonna get to fight Bowser? This feels like a near Bowser section. <gasps> He's humongous! <laughs> he looks awesome though! <laughs> this is so cool! Ooh, I hit him once! Look, he sticks his tongue out when you hit him! <laughs> this is crazy! Hey everyone, it's Darby from Blue Television Games, and I'm here with my dog Yoshi. Say hi, Yoshi. Hey guys, I bought my dad's hand because I'm crazy. And I'm also here with my dog Lee. Hey everyone, my name's Wee Wee, and my tongue hangs out. It's pretty cute. All right, sorry about that. My dogs are being crazy <laughs> today. Hey, shh. Let's put them outside. Yoshi, come on. Go outside. I got a video to record. Come on. Lee's out here. Come on. All right, I gotta record. You guys play. All right, so now that all of that's taken care of, today I'm gonna be playing this super weird Super Mario game called Super Mario Brothers on the Sega Genesis. And it's not the original Super Mario Brothers. Let me grab the game real quick and show you exactly how weird this appears to be. All right, so I'll be using my camera phone here to record this. As you can see, I got a BTG pop socket. These aren't for sale, I just have one made for me. I should make those for sale though, that'd be cool. Anyways, so I'm gonna film me going and grabbing the game. You gotta check this game out, it's super weird. it also give you a quick glance at the new game room. As you can see here, my crazy computer. We got some Mario art. Ooh, there's Earthbound over there. Mario Brothers, Mario 1, 2, and 3, Mario Clock, and a bunch of Switch games. We've got lots and lots and lots of video games in this room but we are gonna go into the secret game closet. PS2, that's not what we want. 3DO games, nope, 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 nope. Sega Genesis, now we're talking. Now where is that game? Do 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 do. I see it. Super Mario Brothers for the Sega Genesis. And look at Bowser on the front. You know this is gonna be good, if that's the right word. <laughs> uh, is it Bowser or is it Yoshi? I, <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, it kinda looks like Bowser, but it it's Yoshi's body. I don't know. And then you can see on the back, Bowser looks pretty normal. Uh, a lot of the text is in a different language. And I'm getting a sneaking suspicion by them holding boxes. This is probably a Chippendale hack ported onto the Genesis somehow. All right, super secret game closet. Just turn off the neon lights. Pick up Cappy, put Cappy back. Sorry, Cappy. Should do her. <laughs> All right, and we're back. So just in case, here's another shot of that box art <laughs> where it's, is it Bowser, is it Yoshi, is it Bow Yoshi, is it Yo Bowser? I do not know. This looks like it's going to be hilarious. I bought this brand new on eBay, it was sealed, but the inside, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of grimy and gross, so I kind of highly doubt it was actually new. The card itself has the same thing as the cover art, although it's got green Mario on the front, yep. That is legit Green Mario. We found Green Mario yet again, guys. This is crazy. All right, so enough of these shenanigans. We are gonna pop this game, well, actually this game, this won't pop in there, into my uh, little HD Sega Genesis, and we're gonna fire it up, and we're gonna try it out, and just see how weirdly bizarre this game is. Let's check out Super Mario Brothers for the Sega Genesis. It's a little dusty down here, but not as embarrassingly dusty as I thought it would be. Oh, we don't wanna put it in upside down. All right, here we go. Get in there. Get in there. In the power. Yippee! All right, here we go, guys. Let's play this with an open mind. <laughs> All right, so it's what from being called Super Mario Brothers to be calling Super Mario World. Uh, the title screen's cool. Good music. Mario and Luigi look a little funny, but pretty cool. Now, this is just a demo that plays if you take too long at the start. All right, let's start it up. All right, so one player game looks uh, you know it looks kind of like Mario Brothers lost levels a little bit but Mario is really big yeah I definitely think this might be a Chippendale ROM hack or uh, they used it to make this bootleg game I'm not even sure how you describe 
what this is. This almost looks like the beginning of uh, Lost Levels. Okay, you can't jump on stuff. I should know better. We should be able to hide in boxes. Yep, <laughs> it's definitely a Chippendale game in disguise. Uh, but so far, control's okay. It feels weird not being able to run. We could throw fireballs, but I think the little hand down there is telling us we only have two left, so we better save those in case we need them. I uh, don't think we can go on pipes. I gotta say, overall, though, the graphics look pretty cool. I would not guess this is a Sega Genesis game if I saw someone playing it, other than the music. The music style definitely gives away that it's being ran on a Genesis a little bit. It's got that tinny kind of sound. It's a nice little version of the Mario Brothers theme, though. What's up, Koopa Troopa? The Koopa Troopas look cool. So far, I gotta say, I'm not really hating this. This is pretty cool. Maybe, maybe after all, things are gonna be all right. Maybe this is gonna be a hidden gem. I don't know. Speaking of gems, there's some gem-like stuff. Some diamonds or something. Ah, man, I gotta jump. Die, Goomba. Ugh. Okay, we can't go in the pipes. I'm gonna keep trying, though. I feel like, I feel like there's gotta be a pipe we can go in somewhere. It's weird the bricks are semi-solids. <laughs> okay. Hide here. Kills the enemy, just like in Chip and Dale. Alright, I'm pretty impressed. I think I paid like $5 for this, so overall I feel like I've got my money's worth. It did come with a box and a real cart, so that's something. If anyone knows how you can play this game online, make sure you leave a comment below and I'll pin it uh, if, other, if other people want to check this out. Since it's not, you know, a ROM hack I'm playing on an emulator, I can't really give you a link to where to play because I don't know. Alright, hey Koopa Troopa, what's up? Okay, it kind of sucks that you can't hurt enemies unless you have the little green punchy glove, <laughs> I guess it's called. That's what I'm calling it. But we got these boxes we can use. So we should save the boxes so we can get by enemies. Ugh. Okay. They've really done a great job of disguising this as a Mario game, though. What do you guys think of the way Mario looks? Kind of cool? Kind of like different. Something weird about him? I don't know. He just looks like kind of funny. I don't know. Another box. Give me the box, please. Thank you. Oops, some health. Jump over you. Nope. Nice try. You could probably speed through here pretty quick. Nice. Castle level coming up. Now, from that cover picture, if you guys remember, with that extremely scary Bowser on the front, we gotta see it. I think on the back of the box, he looks like he is gonna look pretty much like he did in Mario World. But it would be pretty awesome if Yoshi looked like that weird thing on the cover. I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> it scares me. Ah! Oh, we can jump through the ceiling. No big deal. Jumping through the ceiling. Sometimes you can jump through the ceiling and everything's a background element or sort of doo -doo 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 -doo. I can walk through that, but I can also kind of bump into it. I don't understand the hit detection. Doo. All right, are we gonna get to fight Bowser? This feels like a near Bowser section. <gasps> He's humongous! <laughs> he looks awesome though. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, I love the way he looks. This is actually kind of neat. How do I jump down? Okay. Ooh, I hit him once. Look, he sticks his tongue out when you hit him. <laughs> this is crazy. Ah, nope. Oh. oh, stop hurting me, Bowser. I wonder if I can hit him with the fireballs, too. Ooh, I missed that. Yeah, you can hit him with the fireballs, too. So we got another one of those. Oh, I missed him. Dang it. Okay, we just got to hit him again. If I hold down... That's not gonna work here. Woo. 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 Be careful, giant Bowser. I threw it upwards. Wait, we can throw him upwards? That could change things. Okay, he stuck his tongue out again. How many hits does it take to take out Bowser? Okay. Nope, not fair. We're pretty much dead unless... We can throw him up, that really helps. But if he hits us one more time, we are doomed. Wow, he looks crazy. It looks like he'd be a clay fighter character or something. <laughs> Claymation Bowser. Boom, that's gotta be enough hits, right? Nope. There's such luck. I think we're starting to figure out this pattern a little more. He's starting to get a little crazy, though. He's gonna teleport up. We at least expect it. No! You killed Mario! Oh, oh cool, good checkpoint. I like that. Oh, we already got hit. Two hits. Three hits. There we go. Start off with three hits. Don't mind if we do. As long as we have a box, he can't hit us if he's coming at us. Boom. Okay, we're getting this down now, Bowser. You are out for the count.
well, soon, hopefully. Give me the box. Give me the box. You know how Bowser hates getting boxes thrown at him? Boom! Stick your little tongue out, Bowser. We're coming for you, Bowser. Ugh. Boom. Oh, he got me too, though. He's got to be dead. Nope, he's not. What if he just never dies? This is it. Okay. Well, this has got to be a real game. So, eventually the boss dies. And we got him! Woohoo! 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 All right, so that was pretty amazing. All right, so the music, I'm not recognizing. Uh, there's a mushroom right there. That's Mario-like, but everything else screams, this is what the original game looked like. <laughs> Even the enemies. <laughs> what game is this normally? Is this just, it's gotta be a Chip and Dale game, but which one? All right, guys, but I think this is where we're gonna wrap up the video. Uh, I'm a little intrigued by this next level. Once again, let me know if you want to see some more of Super Mario Brothers slash Super Mario World on the Sega Genesis. And we'll, uh, you know, do another video of this. Why not? If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Also, if you want notified of new videos, uh, you gotta make sure you hit the notification bell and set up your notifications. I've gotten lots of comments lately about people not being notified of my new videos and that really stinks. So double check your settings, make sure it's uh, not something YouTube changed on you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had a good time. Until next time, I'll see you around.